Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell the truth about silver. We're at that time of year where the banks are now reporting or at least commenting upon the future of the global economy, their own successes and failures. And we thought it would be appropriate for us to take a look at these over this coming week or two just to see whether there is a scintilla of difference between these global economic giants and what they actually are predicting or forecasting the economy likely to turn out during the course of the next six to 12 months and beyond. So without further ado, let's take a look. Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Tuesday, the 19th of July, 2022. And yesterday we produced a video and we put a link below about Jamie Diamond and JP Morgan expressing concern about the global economy, the United States, and also their banks. Today we look at Citi and the headline in Reuters, Big US Banks See Loan Growth Slowing. As outlook for demand, economy darkens. Let's take a look at this. US bank executives said that they're optimistic on loan growth as demand for borrowing from retail and business customers bounced back in the second quarter from the lows of the pandemic, but warned demand could weaken later this year if the worsening economic outlook starts to hurt consumer confidence. We've seen from figures announced recently, consumer confidence, certainly in the United States, is holding up relatively well. Analysts and investors have been carefully watching loan growth, a core driver of bank income, after extraordinary government stimulus during the COVID-19 pandemic dampened companies and consumers' appetite for bank borrowing. As the economy bounced back from the pandemic, demand for loans began to pick up in the first quarter, driven by consumer spending and companies bulking up inventories. That trend continued during the second quarter, despite aggressive US Federal Reserve interest rate rises, sparking recession fears. JP Morgan Chase & Co. and Wells Fargo & Co., two of the biggest US lenders, said that their loan books grew in the second quarter by 7% and 8.4%, respectively, compared to last year, with few signs of deteriorating credit quality. So you have to ask, what are they worried about then? Well, during second quarter earnings calls on Thursday, executives at JP Morgan, the country's largest lender, said they expect loans to grow by the mid to high single digits this year. That growth and Fed rate rises were good news for banks, boosting net interest income the difference between the interest earned on loans and paid out on deposits. Citigroup, for example, said gross loan yield had risen for the prior five consecutive quarters to reach 5.81% in the second quarter. Results in the second quarter of 22 so far reinforce our positive view, wrote analysts at Wells Fargo, citing strong credit quality, growth in loans and a 10% quarter-on-quarter rise in net interest income. They said commercial loans are showing the best growth in 14 years. So why the negative headlines? Wells Fargo, JP Morgan and Citigroup all said corporate clients borrowed more in the second quarter, often to cover increased costs created by soaring inflation. Huh? Slight negative coming in now. JP Morgan, for example, saw strong growth in corporate and industrial loans, which grew 6% on high use of revolving facilities, and new accounts opened while commercial real estate loans grew by 3%. Citigroup said loans in its institutional clients group grew 3%, with executives noting that some of that was driven by a surge in market volatility sparked by the conflict in Ukraine. We're seeing an increase of lending as our clients have been less inclined to obtain financing through the debt markets given the recent swings, City CEO Jane Fraser told analysts. Kenneth Leon, Research Director, Industry and Equities at CFRA Research, said he expected commercial loan growth would be flat in the second half, while consumer loans would likely decline given the risk of recession, even if only a shallow one. While a slump in mortgage lending due to rising rates was a drag on consumer lending portfolios, credit card loans were way up, 
with JP Morgan and Wells Fargo both reporting a 17% jump. Now, we're not surprised at that because let's be candid. If you feel your budgets at home are under pressure, one of the first things you do is increase your overdraft, increase your existing credit card limits, and also take out new cards if your credit worthiness will hold up. Average loans for Citi's Personal Banking and Wealth Management Division, which includes cards, rose roughly 4% from a year ago. Bank executives said credit quality remained very high, but warned inflation will likely dampen consumer spending, and this is what they're concerned about. I don't think what we've seen in the second quarter will continue to happen at the same pace, Wells Fargo Chief Financial Officer Mike Santomasimo told analysts. Morgan Stanley said its loans grew by £7 billion year on year, driven primarily by wealth management clients, that's those with money, taking out mortgages or loans backed by their investments. Interesting. But even among those well-heeled clients, borrowing is expected to wane as rates rise, making mortgages more expensive, and as slumping markets reduce the value of equity investments, said the bank's CFO Sharon Yeshaya. Now, Important thing to bear in mind here, you've got two sides. You've got the wealthy taking out mortgages backed by their investments. But you also have the normal man in the street, you and I, who perhaps, particularly if you're younger, not so much us older people whose mortgages are now paid off, but the younger people who've taken out mortgages, finding their rates are rising. And those coming out of a fixed rate will suddenly see a huge hike, particularly if, as we suspect, the Fed will increase rates by three quarters of a percent on the 27th of July, or maybe even one percent, as 23 percent of analysts believe will happen. We really have not seen it yet any major cracks as it relates to the health of the consumer, said Leon. Credit quality is still very good, but that will probably shake out sometime next year. We must not forget, back in 2008, a number of Mortgage-backed securities, which were classed as AAA rated, i.e. safe, were most certainly anything but. Big U.S. banks see loan growth slowing as outlook for demand. Economy darkens. So far, we don't think they're in that bad a spot as yet. Thank you so much for listening. Let us know your thoughts. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, press the bell sign. I hope you enjoy this series on this big bad. Banks. Illuminati silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.